Hi, I'm Hans Wilhelm. From the correspondence that I receive, I've noticed a remarkable increase of anxiety, confusion and isolation. For this reason, I would like to summarize the information that I share in the various videos in the Life Explained series. I would like to remind us why we are here on Earth. As always, I do not wish to convince anybody. Just listen with your heart and I wouldn't be surprised if you might find that deep down you have known this information all along. Let us remind ourselves who we are. We are radiant cosmic beings, children of the One Father Mother God and of describable beauty, strength, wisdom, clarity, intelligence and most of all love. But something very dramatic happened eons and eons ago. A small group of these spiritual beings, also called angels, had left their home, the pure heavens. They had acted against the law of love and therefore could no longer stay in this very high frequency or vibration of divine love. Over time, most of these beings, whom we now call souls, have seen their error and are now on their way back home to the pure heavens, to God. It is the famous return of the prodigal son. This return is a slow pilgrimage through the various spiritual purification spheres that surround the pure heavens. Now, these are vibrational spheres. From the lowest vibration, which includes the material cosmos, here we have a planet Earth, up to the highest vibration, which is love, our true home with God. The mystics speak of seven major levels, which all have seven sub-levels, but there are no strict divisions between these levels. They flow into each other just like the colors of the rainbow. Chances are that you and I were among these rebellious souls. By having turned away from the law of love and through our selfishness, we have created over time a heavy soul burden that we now need to undo to become lighter again and to be attracted back to the high frequency of pure heavens. So for our example, let us assume that our burdened soul has the development and vibration that still matches, let's say, the second level of these spiritual purification spheres. Life on this spiritual level does not appear all that different to life here on earth. As eternal beings, we have our own identity and we continually interact with souls of same or similar vibration. On this level, we are given a lot of teaching and education to help our soul to progress. But it is a very, very slow progress. The reason for this very, is very simple. When we are surrounded only by like-minded people like ourselves, we do not see or even conceive other possibilities and our horizon, as well as our love potential, stay rather limited. So to speed our spiritual development up, we were given a very intense training ground. We can also call it a school or college. That is planet Earth. Planet Earth is here on the lower material cosmos. Earth has a very unique property that allows souls of all different stages of development or vibration or background or belief system and so on to incarnate together in one place. In other words, here we are surrounded by souls with whom we would normally never come into contact with in the spiritual worlds. This is a tremendous opportunity for service, develop compassion and most of all to learn unconditional, unlimited and all-inclusive love. Furthermore, here on earth we can also incarnate together with other souls with whom we share some karmic connections and burdens. It is a special opportunity to undo any karma through the act of forgiveness. That is our path to freedom. More on this in my videos on karma and on forgiveness. But Earth is like any Ivy League college. It is not easy to get into this college. There are more applications than there are available newborn infant bodies to incarnate. So you and I are one of the lucky ones who have made it. It helps to remember that being here on Earth is a privilege. But if you expected life here on Earth to be a bed of roses and full of fun and joy and eternal bliss, you might be disappointed with your life here so far. College is never only fun, joy and eternal bliss, at least not 
the tough elite Ivy League colleges. They are full of hard work and constant challenges to measure our progress. Growth and comfort usually don't coexist. Life on Earth is a school for angels, as somebody once said, and we knew that very well before we incarnated here. Let's look at it. So, here we are on the second purification sphere, and we wish to progress more quickly. Once we have decided to incarnate to Earth, we are prepared by our guardian spirits and carefully informed about our upcoming incarnation. Our soul then searches for the ideal suitable conditions, environment and human body here on Earth. There is more on this in my video on life before birth. As our soul incarnates, it goes through the veil of forgetfulness. This often causes us to think that we are the only one who matters here on Earth. <laughs> Does it sound familiar? Or we don't remember anything about our soul and the spiritual worlds. But our soul continues influencing us, mostly unrecognized in the background. It tries to make sure that we fulfill all the tasks that we have agreed to before incarnating. If we are deviating too much from our original spiritual plan, our soul has many ways to warn us. Besides freeing ourselves from our karmic burdens, our prime purpose for our incarnation is to develop our unconditional, unlimited and all-inclusive love potential as well as of being for service for to others. And Earth is a perfect school where our human weakness and limitations can be transformed into strength and certainty through the application of love. We can only do this by interacting with other people. And the best motivation for our inner work is our love for God the Father as it is directly connected to the love for our fellow men and women. Love for God can only be achieved by loving everyone. This includes also the love for ourselves and the love for animal, plant and the mineral kingdoms. When our short college years here on earth come to an end and our soul leaves the body at the time of the physical death, if our soul has successfully increased its love potential, it is time for celebration, graduation day, hooray! The soul might then be attracted to a higher level in the purification spheres where the education and training continues on a more intense level. Once we have reached the fourth level, reincarnation into the physical body here on earth is no longer required. The soul will then increasingly be pulled by God to return home. But that is another video still to come. We are all souls of different development on our way home. To speed up our love potential and to clear up our karmic burdens, we were given the unique opportunity to visit College Earth. And the average stay is about 800,000 hours and who knows how many hours we still got left. Could it be that it was no accident that you watched this video? See you soon.